All right, so welcome to How To Dino. In this video, I'm gonna cover the new giveaways module. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this and I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited that Dino now has giveaways. For those of you looking for the tutorial on the Twitch module, that will be in a separate video, which I will most likely upload next week. The Dino team did put a lot of work into creating this module, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. So let's get into the video. To start off, head over to the Dinobot website, dino.gg, then click on the Manage Servers button. Find the server you'd like to manage, then click on Modules, and find the Giveaways module. Before we begin, make sure the module is enabled. Next up, we're going to just go over the new Giveaways page. So here at the top, we've got the Create Giveaways button, and then we have the Search field, which will allow you to search both active and ended giveaways. And then down off to the right, we have a dropdown that will actually allow you to select editor roles. And essentially these editor roles will allow users within the roles to manage a giveaway. So that's the rundown of the giveaways page. Let's actually go on and create a giveaway. So to begin, we're gonna click on the create giveaway button. We're gonna give this giveaway a name. So we're gonna name this free nitro for example purposes, of course. In the prize details field, we're going to enter what we're actually going to give away. So for this example, I'm giving away $10 one month Discord Nitro. I do want to mention that this field is adjustable. So if you do have a lot to enter, you can actually adjust the field. Next up, we've got the starts on field, which is a premium only feature. This will allow you to start the giveaways in the future. Regular users can only set the date when the giveaway ends. So if we click on the field, we've got this nice pretty little calendar. I'm going to set the giveaway to end on the 31st. And then off to the right here, we can select the time. I want it to end at 11 o'clock p.m. on the 31st. And up top, we can see the rundown. Next, I'm going to hit OK. Down here, we can select the number of winners. The maximum amount you can set this to is 50. For this example, I'm going to set it to 2. And then we must select a giveaway channel. For this example, I actually created a channel for this, so I'm going to select the giveaways channel. Now this is the basics to creating a giveaway, but for those of you that want to customize it further, we have some extra options. So you have the ability to use buttons with the giveaway. If you deselect this option, you'll just be left with a reaction that people can select. We can also have Dino DM the winners, and we can enter our message here. The default message is what you see in gray, but of course we can customize it. For this example, I'm gonna leave it as it is. If we come down, we have a drop down where we can actually select what role we want to mention. So since this is a giveaway I want everyone to enter, I'm gonna mention the everyone role so that they know there's an active giveaway going on. If you wanna clear this, there's a little X here that you can use to clear your selection. Next up, if your giveaway requires it, you can actually set a winner's role that Dino will assign to the user. We can come down to image and click on this use image option. As of now, we only have this default image, but in the future, you will be able to upload a custom image. Next up, we've got entry options. We have two options. We can allow daily entries and allow referral entries. And if you click on either one of those, you'll get a new option that says enforce maximum entries per user. Basically what this will do is limit how many times a single user can enter a giveaway. For example, let's say I change this value to three. So basically I've now set the maximum entries for a user to enter to three. So this is on the per user basis. So here's an example. I have a giveaway running for five days. Out of those five days, if the user plans on entering every 24 hours, they'll only be able to enter that giveaway three times. So the remaining two days, that user will not be able to enter the giveaway because they've reached their maximum number of entries. And before I get too ahead of myself, this allowed daily entries will allow users to enter the giveaway every 24 hours. So after they've entered it the first time, 24 hours from that point, they'll be able to enter it again. So with this referral option, users are given a custom referral link. And if the user shares the referral link and other users enter the giveaway through that link, the user will be granted an extra entry for every user that enters a giveaway using that link. 
the with this option and tying it back to enforcing the maximum entries. So for every user, this user gains an entry from the maximum amount of times they can re-enter the giveaway will be three. So if this user shares this link with 20 people and all 20 people enter the giveaway, the maximum number of times the user who shared the link can enter will be three times. So that's how the maximum entries work. If we come on down, we also have the option to set permissions. So we can hide this giveaway from non-members and users with no permissions. So for non-members, these are users that are not in your server. And then for users that do not have any permissions, those are users who you set. The setting an allowed rule will restrict the other rules that are not part of this list from entering the giveaway. Setting an ignored rule will restrict the users within these rules from entering the giveaway. For users that are not in your Discord server, you can go ahead and paste an invite link here in this field. And whenever they try to enter the giveaway, and it will actually display an invite to your server for them to join. And then they can go ahead and join the giveaway via that link. And once I'm done, I'm gonna click on save. Our giveaway is now active. The countdown has begun. And as you can see, we have three options here at the bottom. We can view the giveaway, edit the giveaway, or end the giveaway now. We're gonna go ahead and view the giveaway. Okay, so before I continue, I'd also like to point out that enabling this option will private your giveaways. So if you do have the referral entries enabled with this option enabled, referral entries are essentially disabled. So if you want to use referrals, disable this option. If you don't plan on using referrals, I'm gonna go ahead and disable this option, save the giveaway. Now that I'm here, I see the name of the giveaway up here, number of total entries, number of times I have entered, countdown, the winners, if any has been selected, the number of winners here, and then we can of course enter the giveaway from this page or edit it since we are the owner of the server. Down here above the buttons, we also see the prize detail. For those of you guys that want to learn more on referrals, this is how it works. Essentially, you get this referral link here that you can copy and share with others. Once you copy and share that link with others, if they enter the giveaway using this link, you will gain another entry, allowing you to enter the giveaway once again. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the giveaway page. And now that we're here, I also wanna point out the ended giveaway section before we head over to Discord. So if we click on this, we can see our ended giveaways. And as you can see, we still have three options, but they're a bit different. So we still have view, but the two new options are clone and delete. So with cloning, if you want to you want to restart a previous giveaway, you can click on this button and all you'd have to do is just change the ends on date to whatever you'd like and then hit OK. And once you're done, you hit save and Dino will restart that giveaway with whatever information you had. So it keeps the giveaway title, the prize details, giveaway channel, and all the other options you had set previously. The other new option is delete button. You want to just completely get rid of an old giveaway. You can click on this option, hit delete giveaway, and that old giveaway is no longer shown. So that's everything on the dashboard. Let's switch over to Discord and see our giveaway in action. All right, so here we are in Discord. I'm in the giveaways channel. And here we can see our active giveaway for free Nitro. We can see the name, our prize details, our countdown here, and who's hosting the giveaway, as well as the number of winners and when the giveaway ends. Each one of these links will direct us to that view page we saw earlier. So we can go ahead and enter the giveaway from the server. As you can see, we get this message saying giveaway entered. We click on it again. It tells us that we can enter this giveaway again in 23 hours and 59 minutes. The reaction giveaways don't quite function like this, which is why I prefer the button giveaways because you can actually see whether or not you've successfully entered the giveaway. So that's pretty much it on giveaways. Stay tuned for my tutorial on the Twitch module. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.